probably like three, four times a year, we have a span where we have three or four deals all at the same time, all going to shit. Mm -hmm. And everyone's calling us, even when it's not our fault, pissed off. And it is what it is. Why we get paid the big, that's why people go like, why do you guys get paid so much money? Yeah, if it's an easy deal, we got overpaid. But if it's not, I don't get paid anymore. Do you run away from those problems? No, why would I? That's, that's, I mean, that's why I get paid. But see what, that's what makes you different. Yeah. Because the average agent would just hide. He's going to try and hide. Yeah. Or sugarcoat things, right? Instead of facing the problem head on, and that's what makes you different. That's what, that's everyone, what makes but you successful. Everyone in this industry, right? lenders. I hate lenders. Right. The lender. It, you know when something goes. I tell my team all the time. You know when something's <laughs> wrong when no one's answering their right, phone. Right. When everyone goes quiet on you. Right. Be ready. Something Earlier bad's in my coming. Career, I had, you were a runner. I, had, I, I ran right, and I realized that's not it's the not. way to deal with it. Right? Even if even if it's bad news. Just telling people it's bad news. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, listen, this is what's happening. Blah blah right. blah. Like, I just think like running away makes it worse. Right. Because sooner or later, I will get a hold of you. Right. And now I'm pissed. Right. Right. Because now you, now you're making me look like an idiot. Right. I kind of run into the same problem where agents come to me and say, Hey, Danny, how come you you're straightforward? And I tell them it's a business transaction. It's a business transaction. A borrower needs to know exactly, exactly. what they're getting themselves into. A seller needs to know exactly, exactly what they're getting themselves into, right? Mm-hmm. And a buyer. Yeah. So you have to be 100% transparent with your clients. The minute you lie or you get caught in a lie, you lose all it's credibility. Not, I don't know if it's right? lying. I just think sometimes Or they misleading. Just, misleading. Let's say misleading. Yeah. You lose all credibility well, that, as a that's, salesperson. That's the issue that people don't process. It's like every day you're always, every day in a transaction is that like, I heard this from Alex Ramosi is like our job in real estate, which is hard because we have like, like a promise is I'm gonna sell your house. Right. But that's a big promise. Right. And, it, and and there's only one thing that makes that right. promise. So what you have to do is like make all these little promises and then keep meeting those expectations. Right. Like, hey, I'm gonna call you tomorrow mm-hmm. at 10 a.m. Okay, now I call him back mm-hmm. tomorrow at 10 a.m. Okay, I, I met that promise. Hey, we're gonna, Whoever this soda company I'm drinking, I am not taking a sponsorship <laughs> from them. Like, then it's like, uh, hey, we're gonna do photos this day right. at this time. Okay, like you have to keep making these little promises right. to them, so then you build up the credibility. Absolutely. So when something doesn't go the right way, you almost earn. Like, right. hey, he's told me that tr- he's he's met expectations every single time he right. set them, but I don't think too many people realize like every little thing you do is a w- little win. Right. But you're like, oh, I'm just here to sell a house. Okay. That's true, but that's such a big thing that it's like there's so many little wins that you need to like Absolutely. let them know. You know, you as an agent, you sold a lot of homes, yes. so you know what to expect, right? They the don't. A- the average consumer doesn't. They don't know. Right? So you have to set those expe- expectations to the point where they understand, Yeah. right? Or if something's going south, they're going to be aware of it. You yeah, already I, let them know. Let them know. Right. Yeah. I mean, and you, you have to, the hard part is like, I have one right now that I've never had happen in my career before. I've never had someone remove loan contingencies. I'm on the sell side. I've never had on my side and I've never had it happen to us on the list side. I've never had someone remove loan contingencies and not be able to close the loan. I've right. never had it. I've had it delayed. I've had it pushed back. Mm-hmm. I've definitely had that happen before. So we have one right now and they went to two lenders. The lenders couldn't close them. And my sellers are like, what do we do? What do we do? I'm like, I've never had this happen to me before. Out of all the deals I've ever What's 